And a seat. That's a stunning song. Thank what you a very great much. song. I yeah. was reading some stuff yesterday and, a, and a, something popped into my mind. The, the top, your album, Jordan the Comeback, been put into the top five album category of all these newspapers, and it's quite a diverse selection. The Sunday Times, The Times, The Daily Mail, The Independent, Q Magazine, Select, NME, Melody Maker, Rolling Stone, Sky Magazine. How have you managed to do that without being the centre of, of the gossip arena, that sort of stuff? Um, we put a lot of fivers in envelopes, and we... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. I think that um, people don't like to be told what to like. Mm. And um, I can only presume that those, those people who got the, the record, they liked it. I mean, um, I've noticed since those reviews are published that there have been even, even more things written that uh, are less kind, maybe because there's such a, a backlog of nice things that have been said about us. You know, no one likes to be told. But normally when things. a lot of nice things are said about a group of people, that's the key, that's it. Right, OK, well, now we'll get them, you know. And, and it's, the, it's, the, it's the, the gossipy stuff and the private lives, and right, the right. lives yeah. of pre club Sprout. I mean, you've managed to avoid that completely. That's next. Yeah. That's, next. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> I wasn't putting you off, by the way, with the little singing and dancing there, was I? Because I, you know, well, I wanted to get, after my karaoke <laughs> debut, I was going to leap up and give you a hand. <laughs> I, was wondering if you could I don't think there's any need to. I didn't. Oh, <laughs> I don't think there's any need to laugh there at all. Would you like to pass the phones down? There you go. One each. One, yes. two, and let's take our first call. Thanks. And it's line number one. Hi, who's on one? It's Christopher. Christopher Hayes. Christopher Hayes. Good morning. Happy New Year, and away you go. Happy New Year to you. Um, yeah, I would just like to ask. It might seem a bit sort of frivolous and everything, but you know, do you feel like threatened about you know like that Gaza is going to now becoming the like, most popular sort of singer from the North East and everything? Have you seen Mark play football? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this boy play football? Terry Venables is in the audience somewhere today. <laughs> Bobby Threatened. Robson taught me everything I know. <laughs> threatened by Gaza. An, an interesting. An interesting point. <laughs> I didn't hear the question, actually. <laughs> oh, that, well, Sorry, there's something wrong with my... Is your phone with... not working? That's a bit unclear. Do we feel threatened by Gaza's popularity? Absolutely. Yes, we I do. I lost sleep last night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, think, I think possibly the, the, the people who buy Gaza's album and your albums might, might be slightly different, do you think, perhaps? Yeah, but we want them as well, please. You want them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for your call. A very interesting one. Threw everyone into confusion there. That's a good one. OK, moving on now to line number two. Who's on two? It's Rebecca. Rebecca, hi. Off you go. I'd just like to say I've bought all your albums and I've enjoyed them, but why did you choose a specific name, Steve McQueen, for one of them? Well, it's a, it's a good question. Um, because it was eye-catching or ear-catching, and people, when they heard that the LP was called Steve McQueen, um, would talk about it and would say, why that? Just the question that you have asked, really. Mm. No, so creating, creating interest. To create interest, yeah. OK, fair enough, that's fair enough. And moving on now to line number four. Who's on four? Steve. Steve. Hello. Hiya. Um, can I ask Paddy why they chose to use um, Thomas Dolby for so many of their productions? Well, because he, he, um, he's, he's a fan of the band, which helps, and because um, w when we were first looking for a, a producer, we wanted someone who was very different to ourselves, and he was a, a great keyboard player and had a great reputation. And um, when we finally met him, we just were so impressed by him. I don't say this is a sort of flattering thing. Sure. He's stunningly talented, and that's why we use him. It's very simple. We wouldn't sound as good. And, and obviously, when you're uh, when you're working on uh, on a project like that, it's important to work with someone that you get on with and that you yeah, like. Yes, you know? yeah. It, it, you know, if, if a guy is a fan of yours, then it, it lifts it above the thing of, well, I'm working with you this week, and next week I go on to something else, and it's bye-bye now. He has a, a longer involvement with things. I was, uh, I was actually quite surprised that... Thanks very much for your call, by the way, Matty. Um, I was quite surprised there were 19 tracks mm -hmm. on it. I mean, that's, uh, that's value for money time, isn't it, really? I mean, do you think about that? Is that... Yeah, but, yeah, I mean... Um... Or did you just have a lot written? No, well, I had, had, a lot, had more songs written, and we um, thought that the 19 would tell a certain story together, those songs, certain of the broad themes that run together through the LP. But really, I think value for money 
is, um, as good a, a reason for doing it as any. I think about that a lot. We all do. You know, you go into a record shop and you're bombarded by a million different things. So when you say the, the thread of sort of 19 and the theme of the album, uh, mm. I mean, how, how hard did you have to think about including 19? Um, w w wasn't it a case of saying, well, we've got 18 really good ones and, and maybe there's one here that we perhaps wouldn't put on? Yeah, or... 23 really good ones. <laughs> <laughs> we can't fit all 23 on. So you had so we 23. Down. We had more, yeah. We didn't have enough days in the week. You have, li you have limitations <laughs> because you can only fit so many things on a record without it sounding bad. And also people's attention spans, that's the big thing. How long can someone listen to a record for? And we thought, well, if you give someone a record that has 19, what you presume are good songs, you hope are good songs, if they want to make a shorter record of it, they can always tape a few songs themselves and, you know, not tip. that we're advocating home taping. No, no, we wouldn't do that. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, are you looking forward to, to the year 2000? Oh, God. Yes, mm. yes. <laughs> I was immediately thinking, how old I'll be then? 21, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Is it so, do, do, do you think that far up front? Do you think that far up front? Not musically, obviously, but, I mean, personally, for your own lives, for, for what you want to have done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, when I, when I wrote the song, I, I was thinking... Um, I was thinking about Irving Berlin, you know, and he wrote White Christmas. And um, he lived to be 100, and every year someone would play one of his songs. And I thought, I wonder if I could ever write anything that in the future people would play when it was an anniversary or a birthday. So there's a bit of that in mind. That's going to be huge in the year 2000. <laughs> oh, perhaps <laughs> not. <laughs> massive. You've got, so you've got a competition for us. So uh, yes. if, where's, where's he gone? Simon Zierigan, you're on the mo programme more than we are today. <laughs> Not for okay, right <laughs> not for the right reasons. <laughs> now this is a stunning selection of of goodies. Thank you. All the uh, the musical bits and pieces here, mm -hmm. the the, the uh, tour comeback book tour ones. book there, the CDs, the tapes, uh, box collections. I think it's every album that. Yes, yeah, yeah. every album, posters. Singles as well. um, I think that's a picture CD as well. Yeah, very rare. CD Jordan. T-shirts in the bottom there, and this, which is amazing. This that's is your. This is my personal gold record, which I got for, for the LP from CBS. I'm sad to see it go, mm. but to a fan, I'm, I'm very happy to lose it. Terrific. Well, it's a great... Uh, and it's signed, of course, if you look on the, on the back, back there. I'll see on the back. You see that? Signed, of course. Maybe the rest of the band would... Uh, put their sign, yeah, sure. That's yeah. Right. Good. What's your question? Um, the question is, every year in Britain, on August Bank Holiday Monday, there's a carnival held. What's it called? OK, you repeat it for us once more. Every year in Britain, on August Bank Holiday Monday, there's a carnival held. What's it called? Brilliantly done. Can I apply? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. You can't right. win it you back. Don't know